Oh, you're not listening to me. Miss Howard will be back any minute, and those pages from Iran were not with these faxes. Well, I need those pages now! Could you dial it back a notch? Some of us are just waking up. You are late. Hey! This isn't Kate's. It's mine. A half-calf latte with cinnamon and half a pack of low-calorie sweetener. I asked you to do one thing. Can get that right? <clears throat> Good morning, Miss Howard. I was just about to go get your cafe latte with the cinnamon and half low cal sweetener, right? I'm assuming that was rhetorical. Max, could you have my faxes from Milan? I don't know why the faxes from Milan didn't come through. I sent them with the instructions just the way you told me to. Maxie, was I unclear about my interest in excuses? Here's your latte, Miss Howard. Is there anything else I can do for you? Yes, actually, you can run out to the landing and pick up a package. Adrian is dropping off some new designs on his way back to New York. Adrian Godet? Who's that? Only one of the most important influential designers in the world. The unisex stuff he did in Paris last year was phenomenal. I would be happy to go get the sketches. No. You have a phone call to make to Milan, and I'm behind schedule. Lulu? You can run out there and make sure you tell Adrian I'll call him tonight to discuss the designs. I'll do that. Who doesn't know Adrian Godet from the Ice Cream Man? And? It just would have meant a lot for me to meet him. Well, I can't put my work on hold to indulge your hero worship. Perhaps when Lulu gets back, she can manage to receive the facts. It seems to be beyond you. Oh, and I in some sort of competition? Hmm. If so, it looks like you're off to a disappointing start. How can this be a competition? Lulu doesn't even want to be here. She's a fashion train wreck and she knows nothing. So will most people who try to derail your career. In fact, the less they know, the more vile the attacks. But who's going to listen to them? Maxie, do you think that the fashion industry is one big happy family? You have to prove yourself every day. You have to try to find a way to stay ahead of the curve to prevent being yesterday's news. And if you do manage to make it to the top, oh, well, people will smile and they'll congratulate you to your face, but all the while they're taking aim with a dagger at your back. If I put the word out that I was looking for a new assistant, do you know how many people would apply? People who know how to receive a fax? I made a mistake. I can't afford to look bad, Maxie. And you can't afford to make a mistake. Adrian's new sketches. He's expecting your call tomorrow. Fantastic. Did Adrian say anything else? Just that he thinks your new assistant is fabulous. Adrian's great. He and I had the best talk. I really think I'm gonna like it here. Think again. How'd it go? <laughs> it went a lot. Did you scoop? Yeah! Yeah, I scooped. Maxie, why didn't you tell me his gorgeous musette was his froofy little dog? Well, you and Adrian had such a wonderful talk, I'm surprised you didn't know that already. By the way, here are his instructions on how to feed me that. Forget it. I am not here to babysit some spoiled little mutt. No, you're being paid to be the second assistant, so if you'd like to stick around, you'll do what I tell what you. What is your problem? My problem, Lulu, is that you didn't even know who Adrian Godet was. You don't know the first thing about fashion. This is all just some big joke to you. However, it's what I want to do with my life. And you're scared. Of you? <laughs> that you'll keep screwing up, and I'll be the one to call the shots around here. Okay, well, until then, you have a dog to feed. Well, hey, you're about to screw up again. This is supposed to go to Paris. No, this is supposed to go to Hong Kong. No. This box is going to Hong Kong, Maxie. Kate has to sign off on it tomorrow. Will you stop trying to screw me up? I know what I'm doing. I can handle it. Great, Maxie. Why don't you handle everything? I'm out of here. Oh, thank you for coming. I 
Rogers? I need, I need your help. Okay. So, you have to help me figure out which cities are in which countries and where all those are. I'm sorry, this is a geography emergency? Yeah, so there won't be any more emergencies. I can't keep screwing up Spinelli. You have to figure out a way to put your brain into my head. Hello? I'm sorry, I was momentarily paralyzed by the image. Look, I can do this, okay? I have a whole system set up. These are supposed to go out tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Kate Howard's office? <sighs> no, the Paris box is supposed to go out tomorrow. No, 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 don't. Don't do that. I'll, I'll fix it. I completely screwed up. Well, we can fix it. No, no, we can't. We can't. I blew it. I have single-handedly ruined the launch of Kate Howard's new magazine. She can't afford to look bad. I just made her look really, really bad. She's going to fire me. Oh, my God. I'm, I know this is just a job, Spinelli, but I really wanted it. And...